It's January 2024, and we have some huge news for the Western hunting world. Yeti has acquired Mystery Ranch. Uh, with that being said, we don't know where this is going. We don't have any details. And as far as the financials, no one knows what the contract is like. Uh, from my understanding, reading the article, the deal happened today on Wednesday, January 31st. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm a little apprehensive. It could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. The only thing that I know, uh, as far as what I've read, is that Yeti's numbers were pretty stagnant for the third quarter of 2023, and Mystery Ranch's numbers are way up. Um, in 2023, by July, Mystery Ranch had quadrupled its numbers from previous years. So a little bit of uh, history for, from Mystery Ranch is they are a company that makes backcountry hunting backpacks, uh, hiking backpacks. Uh, they do the wilderness firefighter backpacks. They make military style backpacks for uh, various different uh, military armies or whatever. Uh, as well as they jumped into the uh, another market this past year, like the uh, backcountry running and stuff like that, the smaller backpacks. Uh, as we kind of evaluate that, uh, I think Yeti has made this purchase, obviously, to, to increase their profit margin, right? Now, going forward, we don't know what Yeti's going to do with Mystery Ranch, other than in the article it said that... <laughs> Basically, operations will stay the same. Uh, they'll operate out of Bozeman, Montana, and uh, the people are going to pretty much stay the same for the time being. Um, a quote from the co-founder of Mystery Ranch said, Yeti's passion for innovation and the outdoor aligns closely with our founding vision. Uh, that's Dana Gleason. So it could be a good thing. A couple things that I'm worried about with uh, with this going on is, one, Yeti is an outdoor company that focuses in coolers, but with that being said, their market is fishing and hunting. That's one of their biggest markets. Now, a guy that I listen to a lot, uh, I was listening to one of his podcasts this past summer, and he has dropped Yeti as one of the sponsors of his of his uh, platform. Uh, and one of his things was because that Yeti had approached him and said that they were uh, wanting, wanting him to be more cognizant of the way he presented animals with their product. Um, and what worries me about that is I really hope they're not going down the, the woke path uh, and kind of turning their back on hunters. Um, it doesn't seem to be that way, especially with their with their uh, acquisition of Mystery Ranch because mis a, a, a big portion of Mystery Ranch's uh, customer base are hunters and back backcountry hunters. So I don't think Yeti's gonna completely go down that path. Uh, it just makes me a little nervous, um, especially with the, the way markets are and can be volatile and stuff like that. Uh, so on the Mystery Ranch side, uh, they grew a substantial amount from 2019 to, to now. Um, and that's good. So I think there's a couple different ways that could, this could go. Um, one is that Yeti, Yeti's acquisition of Mystery Ranch makes all the products more expensive because Yeti's got a big name. Their coolers are pretty expensive. Um, I'm not against Yeti by any means. I have Yeti stuff, but they are a, a large um, platform that has some pretty expensive coolers. And I, I'm worried that that price point will affect Mystery Ranch. Now, transversely, um, if they put a lot of money into Mystery Ranch and start making uh, uh, how do I put it, where they can make more packs so they have more production, that that it could make the prices go down on their packs. But 
what I'm worried about with that specifically is if their production goes up, how does that affect their quality? Because Mystery Ranch is a is a very quality uh, backcountry backpack. I really like mine. So, you know, there's two different avenues there that worry me, but it could all work out and Mystery Ranch could be even better than they are now. They are a great quality product, but who's to say that their quality doesn't go up and they stay the same or become even cheaper, which would be awesome and would be a great win for everybody. Uh, so you guys, um, what, what are y'all's takes on this? Uh, y'all leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this. Or if any of you guys have any information, drop it down below. Uh, and I might can get that out on YouTube as well. But yeah, that's all the information we have for now. Um, like I said, uh, just a recap, Yeti acquired Mystery Ranch. Uh, Yeti was pretty stagnant in 2023 for the third quarter. They'll report on February 15th their, uh, their fourth quarter earnings. Um, with that being said, the acquisition of Mystery Ranch, obviously they think that they can make a big profit off of Mystery Ranch. Uh, so this merger could be good, could be bad could be just the same you know mystery ranch stays the same yeti stays the same they become two entities of one company uh which would be great whatever that is but yeah thanks for watching uh big news leave a comment like the video appreciate you guys for watching